Well, thank you, YouTube, for joining me again tonight. Um, this video is going to be about a regen process that happened yesterday. Um, the vehicle has something like 3,300 miles on it. I want to talk a little bit more about the regen. So, the last time that this thing regen was... Psst, I actually have to look it up. set my cruise control it actually tapped on the brakes a tiny bit and when it does when the um, automatic uh, cruise control stuff does tap on the brakes the brake lights in the back do come on so um, just as a side note I am now on my 12th regen at 3358 miles is when it started um, it will be then probably somewhere around 3,368 miles when it finishes. It takes about 10 miles um, at normal highway speeds, which having a diesel, I will say this, and if you want to talk about regeneration, the regeneration process, and I honestly don't recommend having a diesel for doing a lot of short commutes. Um, you truly have to have a drive where you drive, I would say, a minimum of 15 miles um, every single day, one way, not, not both ways, one way. Um, that gives the engine time to warm up the coolant. Head west on I-96 West. Gives the engine time to warm up the coolant, and it also um, gives it time to burn off the filter. Um, the filter is a necessary part of yeah, a necessary part of the diesel to be able to keep the particulate matter down. Um, I chuckled a tiny bit only because every single other vehicle that's out here that's not a diesel has pretty much direct injected um, a direct injection for fuel injection, and even the ones that don't. When those guys actually get on the freeway and put the hammer to the floor, you know, full throttle, you'll see black smoke coming out of even gas cars. Uh, that really perturbs me because we want to make sure that there's absolutely nothing coming out of a diesel. In fact, I've read articles now stating that, you know, the air coming into a diesel is dirtier than the air that comes out of a diesel engine. You can't say that for any gas-powered engine. Um, so why don't we have DPF filters on a, on a direct injected gas engine? That would change things a little bit, wouldn't it? Anyways, off my rant for that for the moment. Um, but having a diesel vehicle uh, does require a tiny bit of extra maintenance. Uh, I did have to fill up the DEF already. I have 3,200 and, like I said, 58 miles. It's now up to 62 miles. Um, I did have to refill the DEF because I have been doing a lot of towing. Uh, my expectation is that the DEF would probably last more like 5,000 miles if I was just doing um, normal type of driving, not a lot of towing. But that's not a big deal to me. The, the other thing for those of you that are considering getting a, this new 3 liter Duramax, um, it does require a different oil. So, General Motors has always had their Dexos brand of oil. There is Dexos One, which is for gasoline engines. Then they had a Dexos Two, which actually has a blue logo um, instead of the green logo. Dexos Two is what I used in the Colorado with the 2.8 liter. That's what was called out for us for it. It is a low ash oil. Ash is a problem when it comes to diesel particulate filters and them getting clogged by stuff other than diesel fuel. And that's why we have low sulfur, ultra low sulfur diesel fuel also. Um, and now with this brand new three liter Duramax, the straight six diesel, there is a brand new thing called Dexos D. Dexos D is a zero 20 weight oil. Seems kind of strange for me, a 20 weight oil. <laughs> zero weight's awesome in the winter. I live in a colder climate up here. Um, 20 weight in, when it's warmer, 
doesn't uh, doesn't seem like the best thing in the world, but it is as it is. So um, I'm going to run it. I'm planning on running Dexos D. I went to the dealership, Al Sarah, and had talked to the service people. They actually didn't have any oil. So even though they sold me the truck, there was no oil. And of course, right now there's a the GM UAW strike. So their ability to get parts is kind of hampered, including the oil. There were two other dealerships in the area that had the oil in stock. So I went to one of those dealerships and I bought the seven quarts that I need to change the oil. And I will be doing a oil change video here too very shortly. I've got lots of combination of uh, the farm that I I run plus the my normal job um, plus doing the YouTube videos. It takes a lot of a lot of time, but I enjoy doing it all. So no no worries. So for the rest of this video, basically I'm going to talk about some of the data that you're seeing on the screen and I've also sped up the overall regen process. Um, so if you take a look, I have the transmission temperature which typically stays around 180 degrees uh, even during towing. The engine oil temperature typically rides right around the 230 degree Fahrenheit part. Um, while I was towing I actually did see up to 250 degrees. I'm still trying to pull some of that video together. Um, the coolant temperature is another really interesting thing with this truck. It will typically ride somewhere between 220 degrees Fahrenheit and 180 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, of course, my big concern when I first got this truck was, you know, watching it go all the way up to 220 degrees degrees without having anything towing. Um, I was kind of worried about the whole fact, you know, what happens when I do decide to, to load the truck down. It actually was kind of comical the first time I towed. The temperature ended up going down to 180 degrees Fahrenheit and sitting there for the most part. So, however the temperature management stuff is working inside of this truck slash engine, um, it does a really, really good job. Um, you can take a look that the regen just finished. Uh, it did take about 12 miles this time to do the regen and the regen distance has now been updated down to 388.9 miles. Um, and if you were taking a look at the temperatures beforehand, you know, it was riding at around 1150 degrees Fahrenheit and then fairly quickly it goes down. Thanks for watching and don't forget to rate and subscribe and ask questions. I'd love to hear everything you guys have to say.